Hello, my name is Denzel, and welcome to Art in Motion. Today, I'm just going to show you some of my very favorite free plugins that come packaged with Blender. Dynamic Context Menu, or Dynamic Spacebar. All that you need to do is click on File, go to User Preferences, go to the Add-ons tab at the top, look in the search bar type, die. Dynamic, but it should pop up right there. Activate it by clicking on the little box next to it. Save your user settings. Click off. All you have to do is press spacebar, and pretty much every single function or action that you need to take is right here in one menu. And it's context sensitive. So if I press tab and go into edit mode, it changes. So I've got my mesh tools, I've got my add mesh tool, I've got UV mapping tools, I've got mirror tools, I've got transform tools, everything I could possibly ever need. And anything that you don't see directly here, all you got to do is press search and type whatever you're looking for. It's the quickest and easiest way to work. Now, if you're coming from Maya, I find this was the hardest adjustment. So when I discovered that in the space bar, it saved my life. The Pi menu. When you search for the Pi menu, you will see that there are two Pi menus if you're using one of the newer versions of Blender. This is the original one at the bottom. You'll see there's all the shortcuts for all the different keys that you'll probably end up using. But I'd also activate this top one purely because it does have a lot of interesting and useful Pi menus depending on how you work. But if you're a Maya user, you'll find this to be very useful because I used to use the Pi menu in Maya all the time. Just to demonstrate, you press Z, you can change to render mode, you can change to texture mode, you can change to wireframe, and back to solid very quickly. Uh, another one is Q, where you can change the view very quickly. Uh, let's see, another one, tab, so you can change to edit mode, you can go to weight paint mode, you can go to sculpt mode, you can go to vertex paint, you can go to object mode again, and to texture paint. One of my very favorite plugins. Once you get used to it, because it does take a bit of getting used to it, if you don't know how to use a power menu, or you've never used a power menu before, just give it a try, trust me, you'll never look back. The Node Wrangler. When you activate the Node Wrangler, you'll see the preferences come up at the bottom here. You can click on Show Hotkey List, just all these incredibly useful hotkeys, some of them more useful than others, but that you'll have to play with in your own time. What I'm going to show you is a few of the other useful features, such as the ability to quickly add textures. So if you press the T key, and go over to the side here, there's a little node tab on the side and you select your shader with a color input click add texture setup and bam there you've got your texture setup you can set it to generate if you like select the texture select this one boom and there we have it hello Jackie Chan See how happy he is. That's how easy it was. Another cool little feature is that if we select everything over here, we can then click on frame selected and bam, it's all grouped together. It's still separate, but we've got this group that we can keep it in. We can even go to the side here, change color to whatever we want, we can add a label, black hood. Increase the size of the label, whatever you want. Have fun. Another cool feature that I quite like is if you press Shift S, you can quickly change what kind of shader it is. So you've got shader, uh, I want it to be a glossy. Now it's a glossy shader. Uh, duplicate it quick, and you can select these two. So now, Put them selected, 
but Sarja say merge selected. Go use nodes mix bam quickly and easily selected. Okay. Try the whole shift D and say uh, let's see something different emission shader. So yeah, that's a lot of fun. It makes using the node editor so much easier. I cannot stress how incredibly useful this plugin is. So when you open a Blender, quickly activate it. Worthwhile. Thank you for tuning into my channel. And if you enjoyed my video, please subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell. I would like to dedicate more time to content creation. So if you like my content and you find it useful, 